American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Four wins, no losses. Tisha, the Tiny Tornado Torres! I got into martial arts when I was five. My mom just took me in one day with my sister, and uh, my sister hated it. I loved it. Then I found jujitsu. It became, you know, something familiar and fun to me. So uh, from there, I started MMA, and I was doing really well. And uh, the Invicta promotion came about. I was like, oh, one day I want to be there. And out of the blue one day, you know, Shannon Knapp called me saying, you know, we have this offer. Would you like to make a professional de debut? I made my professional debut with Invicta. I had uh, four fights with them before getting the call from Dana White saying, you know, I'd be on The Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> Right before the fight starts and I'm walking out, I'm truly happy. I'm at the place where I want to be. I've been told that I'm probably the best uh, point fighter in the division, and I think uh, I'll stand behind that, you know? I do come from a martial arts, taekwondo, karate background, and that is my style. I'm in and out very fast, very, you know, I, I do some, some slick movement, uh, I do punches and bunches. I'm really not one to stay in one place, so I'd really, I, I've been told that I'm like a karate kid on caffeine, and that's probably the, the best explanation of what you can see about me. Take it in deep water. For me going to the Ultimate Fighter, I knew that I was going to stay to myself and just be who I am. Um, there's cameras there for a reason, you know, some of the girls like to put on a show, or not necessarily put on a show, just be themselves and they become a show because they like the drama. With the tension mounting, Tisha's old Melendez teammates want her out. I don't want to talk about it the next few days. I'm not going to move. We've asked nicely and if she doesn't make a choice soon, the choice is going to be made for her. Being on the show, I knew that I'd be around drama. That really did suck. It was hard living with you know, 15 other women who wanted what I wanted and just listening to them every day because uh, that's kind of a deterrent towards my goals if I, you know, I play into that. So I just stick to myself. Four teammates go head to head as number three seed Torres of Team Pettis <laughs> faces Team Melendez as number eight seed Beck Rollins. Let's do it. With a spot in the quarterfinals on the line. When I was 18, um, it was the era of Chris Cyborg, Gina Carano. So I was like, wow, you know, I really want to do this one day. Maybe one day they'll, they'll put my weight class. Maybe I'll make it to that, that far, you know, that step. As I was going through the sport and just watching the girls, and I started watching the Muay Thai girls, so more Gina Carano than the fight girl era. I'm fighting Angela Hill coming this June 13th on UFC 188, pay-per-view Cain Velasquez versus Fabrice Verdun. Angela Hill has a Muay Thai background. She's relatively newer to the MMA sport. She's only had two official fights and then one on the show. So there's not much footage of her mixed martial arts background, but there's a lot on her Muay Thai. I know she was undefeated, probably 14 or 15 and 0 before she came over. And I think it's, you know, has potential to be a great fight. Yeah. Girls are probably looking up to me, or well, I know they're looking up to me because I receive messages daily from young girls and women as well, and men, saying how I inspire them. So it's just like, if you have something and you feel that you can do it, you really can do it. Just, you know, hard work and determination really does get you there. Winner by unanimous decision, Tisha the Tiny Tornado.